Welcome everyone, another day, another video. Smartwatch, Senbono L81. It's a Shenzhen based company. The watch works with the Cloudfoot Pro app. This is not a review. This is just my thoughts, opinions and ideas on this smartwatch in inverted commas. Air commas, whatever they call it. Stay tuned, let's do it. This is not a review. This is just a quick overview, some thoughts and ideas on this very affordable, I must say, smartwatch. Right, Senbono L81 smartwatch. What you get is this little small box smartwatch. It opens up into a magnetic charger, which is this. You get pretty much the watch protective face, little plastic things that these things are in. If I take this out, you get the manual, which is just a basic on how to turn the watch on. Basic information in Chinese, in English, a little bit in English and a bunch of other languages. Right, let's get this aside. This is the watch. It's pretty decent, it's pretty bright. When you're outside in direct sunlight, you can see the face no problem. That's a bit of a shortcut menu. You can program it to whatever shortcuts you want, options you want. Then we got your heart rate monitor, your sleep time. I didn't wear it for sleeping because it's just so big. It's got your days on it. It's got the weather because it's not connected to the smart app on my phone so far but that's your heart rate it'll tap your exercise very easy the screen is very responsive so it's got a gps built in it's fairly accurate to about 13 meters which is not too bad and you can track all your things you can change the face of the watch via the smartphone app or you can just hold the button in and change it well okay not hold the button in Push down and there we can change it to different, different, there's about 30 odd different faces. The menu is basically shortcut. That's your brightness you can change, screen brightness. See, it's pretty dim now, it's pretty bright now. You can control the music on your phone, you can control the camera on your phone. It's got a bit of a torch on it. And it's very responsive. There's all your options. The battery life's pretty good. I get about, I wear it every day. I go run, I train. I'm getting about, what, eight days before I needed to charge the battery. Battery takes about 40 minutes to charge. Yeah. You can choose ringtones on it. You can set up your messages. No messages because it's not synced with my smartphone app. It uses the Cloudfoot Pro app. As is with many of these applications, these apps, look, they're going to track all your personal data. If you're not bothered about that, use it. The watch is very light though. It's a plastic, whatever material they've used. It's not metal. So it's extremely light. It's very comfortable to wear. It's got this thing for your heart rate monitoring, which is, yeah, it's about accurate to within five, six beats which is fine. There's just got one button on it. it. The button turns, but it doesn't do anything. Okay, you can change your... See, it actually does do something. So you can actually change the face of the watch by turning this little one button. I like this one, so I'll keep it on this one. You can answer calls through it. The speaker on you is pretty clear. There's a bunch of shortcuts you can use. So that's more about the watch. Give me a second, I'll be right back. Right, so the watch, it's pretty decent. As you can see, it's changing. You can do many things with it. Shortcuts. Change the watch face. I like this one. It's pretty bright. Like I said, in daylight, you can see it. It's very light on the arm, very comfortable. 
comes with a magnetic charger that just magnetizes onto the back of the watch. Charging time, full charge from basically empty. It's about 35 to 40 minutes. It's very comfortable. It's sort of, you can splash on it. You can't swim with it. I wouldn't, they say it is waterproof up to 10 meters. I wouldn't try it. You can keep the screen on long. You can keep the screen on longer. I just use it. So I use the screen saver so that I can, the battery lasts longer for me. Very comfortable to wear. It's very light though. It doesn't feel heavy at all. There's no metal po points to it. There's no metal parts. Entirely plastic with a rubberized band for your arm. Now here's the thing. I paid 231 South African Rand. Now you're either going to divide or multiply in whichever currency you're living in. That's about what? $9? $10? 10 US dollars? Something like that. More or less. You can go do the math on it. For this, I bought it through an online platform called Temu. Timu. I'm sure in your part of the world you might even be able to get this cheaper. Look, it's a decent thing. It's got functionality. It's got a GPS, which I like. Yes, accurate to about within 11 meters, which is not bad. You might want it to be very accurate, like a name brand, Garmin, Apple Watch, Huawei, Polar, whatever. This works for me. What I liked about this was it's light. It's not heavy on the arm. The price, 231 South African Rand. Now, Bear ZA91 will know, fellow South African. 231 Rand, pretty cheap. Yes, I'm sure you can get these things cheaper. For example, I bought this thing about two, three years ago. This smartwatch, I'll show you now. Whoop, not going on. This smartwatch I bought for about 500 odd South African Rand. The screen is tiny. This is the brightest it can go. You struggle to see it at, at in, in the daytime. It works with a Verifoot Pro app, which is similar to a Cloudfoot Pro that this one. This one's also comfortable, white screen is tiny, limited functionality. This has got a lot of functionality to it. Half the stuff I'm not even going to be needing. Heart rate monitor, yes. Accurate to within, what, five, six beats. GPS on it, pretty much accurate. Now you can link this Verifoot Pro app up with Google Fit Pro, Strava, and a bunch of other apps. So you can plot and plan your training, your running, or whatever you want to do. Bear in mind, all of these, Google Fit, Garmin, Huawei, Apple Watch, they're all going to take your personal data. So if you're privacy conscious, don't wear a smartwatch. Wear a dumb watch. Just a watch that tells time and has a stopwatch on it. So, not a review, 231 South African Rand. You're either going to multiply or divide in your local currency. Pretty decent watch for 231 Rand. Really good. It is not heavy at all. You wear this, you don't even know you're wearing it. I've been using it a while now. It's pretty decent for the price. Do I need anything more fancier? No, maybe you do. Anyways, that's my thoughts. Just a quick one. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching.